for those of you who are new to the Caddy Club, the Caddy Club is about these kids in a vacation golf camp who discover a magical portal on the golf course. And when they do, they unexpectedly become crime-biting superheroes. I'm Eden Wilson from Lemonerdy. We are live, and today I am so excited to do the poster reveal for The Caddy Club. Before we get started, make sure that you tell me where you're from in the chat. If you're an aspiring or current animator, filmmaker, director, screenwriter, producer, illustrator, or working in the creative film industry right now, introduce yourself in the chat and get ready to be inspired by some of the behind the scenes images and interviews with the winner of the character design competition. The Caddy Club is about kids in a vacation golf camp. They unexpectedly become secret crime fighting superheroes when they discover a magical portal on the golf course. Before we get started, head over to Instagram because during this event, I'll reveal parts of the poster on my feed and in my stories. I've dropped those links in the live chat and in the comments. If you're joining us for the replay, welcome. Go ahead and type replay and where you're joining us from in the comments. Some of you may remember the interview I did with the voice actors who will be voicing the characters in the Caddy Club film shortly after they were cast in their roles. Now, we don't have to imagine what their characters look like anymore. Let's take a look at some clips from that interview and meet the characters. The link to the entire interview is in the description and in the comments. I'll drop a link to the live chat as well. So without further ado, I know you guys are excited for this interview, here it is! Hi everybody, it's me, Eden from Lemonerdy, and today I'll be interviewing the cast of The Caddy Club. What is your name and where in Trinidad are you from? Uh, I'm Otsai Balik and I'm from Tunapuna, Trinidad. My name is Sloan Dwight Delion. I'm eight years old. And I am from Port of Spain, Cascade. My name is Selena, and I was born the day before American Independence Day, which is July the 3rd, and I live in Bataria, Trinidad. My name is Jalon George, and I'm from Oasis Greens, Endeavor, Shogunas. What is the Caddy Club movie about? The Caddy Club is about, is a fantasy adventure of five children who get sent to um, a what do you call it, a program, a golf program, because um, they're minors and you can't really send them to jail. So it's like a youth correction, and there they find this magical golf pool. It's a golf course, and Keisha is the first one, which is my character, to go into the um, celestial realm. So if, if they take out the pool in the golf hole, they get transported to the celestial realm, and, this, and in the celestial realm is the first place where they all get their powers and everyone gets different powers and stuff and the powers help them to solve or help everyone at the golf course. Did the characters look the way you expected? Do you think they resemble the voice actors? Tell me what you think in the chat if you're watching it live or in the comments if you're watching the replay. If you have Instagram or Facebook open right now, you've seen some sneak peeks at the poster on my feed and in my stories. Keep watching for the grand reveal. I have the physical poster right here, but most of you will see the digital versions of the poster when you pre-order the movie. The Caddy Club is currently available for pre-order on storyplay.tv. There's no purchase or payment necessary to join the pre-order list. You can sign up and be the first to purchase the movie when it's released. I've added those links in the description, in the comments, and also in the live chat. When you join the pre-order list, you unlock access to exclusive behind-the-scenes sneak peeks. Now, we have a quick Q&A with Patrick Meikle, the winner of the Caddy Club character design competition last December, and the designer of the poster you will be seeing very soon. 
Patrick Meikle is a Caribbean illustrator and animator who has founded the Digital Media and Animation Network Club at the University of the West Indies, serving as the previous Community Development Manager of the Jamaican Animation Nation Network, as well as a delegate for Team Jamaica Animation at Kids Screen. Hi Patrick! What made you choose to become an illustrator? Uh, what made me choose to become an illustrator was the innate desire for me to just want to draw for a living. I wasn't sure what drawing for a living would mean yet. Um, I had a lot of influence from like parents, grandparents telling me maybe architecture or engineering, but I had been drawn to <laughs> a lot of uh, cartoons, animations, particularly Dragon Ball Z. And as I grew older and older, I learned that, oh, there's like career choices for this. You know, um, and illustration was what 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 became my natural path. I mean, I'm not only an illustrator; I'm an animator too. But yeah, that's why that innate desire to draw for a living. What was the most fun thing about designing the characters for the Caddy Club? So I'm not going to necessarily talk about the technical process. Uh, the most fun thing for me when designing the characters was actually the feedback sessions I would have with Kathy. Um, just hearing her own responses to what I was able to generate or create, um, that to me was probably the most fun because she, she, she's genuinely excited and what that does for me is kind of validate the fact that, oh yeah, you know, these concepts are working, I'm listening to what she's saying, um, I'm taking in, you know, exactly what is desired to be communicated visually. Um, so that for me was like the most fun. Other parts, uh, if I were to go into the technical process, were um, exploring, you know, how these characters would actually look based off of just the description and just reference searching and researching, you know, um, the concept stage and sketching those concepts are probably like in the technical phase, like probably my favorite. And then at the very end of the entire design process, uh, rendering particularly giving these characters their light effects. I found that to be really exciting. Um, I remember when I spoke to Kathy that when we did the first light effect with Akil, I was like, yo, this looks like post already. This is great. So yeah. yeah. If you could be anything else besides an illustrator, what would you be? To be honest with you, um, Nothing. As I said earlier, you know, I had an innate desire to draw for a living. And I don't think there's really much of anything else I'd want to do full time or like focus all of my energy on. Um, if there was something I'd want to be um, like something else, I'm technically already that because it would be animation. I'd want to be an animator and I'm that too. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like I'm living a, a dream life. <laughs> um, but if there's anything that I would want to invest a lot of time in almost as equally as I invest time in illustration is music. I would have loved to probably dive more into music and musical productions, learning instruments, um, not necessarily singing, but just learning instruments and being able to play. Um, yeah, music is amazing to me. And I wouldn't mind being that, but I'd still want to be an illustrator, top top. What advice do you have for someone who wants to design and illustrate characters for an animated film like The Caddy Club? Well, the advice I'd probably give first and foremost is do a lot of research, look at a lot of references, you know, look at what has been done um, and help, let that help inform what you are going to do. Another thing I would really say to um, take heed of. This is not a, this is not necessarily a design specific thing, but more of just a person um, thing. Ensure that you are listening well to your director uh, and producer. You know, uh, be 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 keen on hearing what they have to say, their feedback, um, their direction. Um, and it's a big project. That's the other thing. Um, Pay attention to details when it comes to the script. Read the script as much as you can, um, so that you'll be you'll you'll be more informed about what you're actually creating for, and not so much what you research and reference. Yeah, and and be patient.
be patient, um, enjoy the process. It, it's, it's, it's a good process. It's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. What do you hope that people will feel when they see the poster for the Caddy Club movie? I have a few things I would like them to feel. I mean, of course, I'd like them to look and feel uh, really good um, and feel excited when they look at the poster, um, you know, cause it's pretty, I think. <laughs> but I would also want people to feel curious, um, feel intrigued. I'd also want people in our context to feel represented as well. Um, I think a lot went in to try and make it feel contextually Caribbean, um, especially with these characters. And I'd want people to feel like, oh yeah, you know, I'm a sister that tried this or, or whatever, you know. Um, I'd want people to feel that way. In terms of curiosity and intrigue though, why I say those is because for me at least, um, that's how I have felt about the project. It's intriguing and it makes me super curious. When I, when I first encountered the concept last year, um, it really grabbed me because for me, and I'll speak for me alone, <laughs> for me, golf is probably the most boring thing to watch. Very fun to play, but you will never have me watch a PGA tour by myself. But there was a, there's a magical element, a playful and exciting element applied to this and a contextual element as well. You know, it's, it's, it's in the Caribbean and it deals with social issues as well. So it, there's a lot that's wrapped up in there that provides a lot of, you know, food for thought. And it's really, really interesting and makes me curious. So I hope that this poster might drive curiosity for those people as well. Um, to want to see more, you know, so, yeah. Thank you so much, Patrick. I hope they feel that way too, because it's time for the grand reveal. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! This is the full poster. You've already seen clips on Instagram and Facebook, but this is the full design. I love the bright colors and the animation style. My favorite thing about this poster is that there's all this action happening up here and then as you look down there's just this guy peacefully golfing so it's like a big contrast. It really gets me excited to see what happens in the movie. I cannot wait to see how it all comes together and I know you guys can't either. Make sure that you go to storyplay.tv to get on the pre-order list for free and get behind the scenes looks on all things Caddy Club. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Bye!